All right, so if you guys saw our last um, competition video, we're trying gate one, two, and three again. Um, our last video was class two at competition, or competition three, class two at competition three. So I'm gonna try one and two, see how it goes. And then we'll do them backwards, because I was able to do that yesterday. You was able to do this yesterday backwards? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're pinching. Okay. Eric really struggled with this. He got wet. He got stuck right in the gap there. I, I went right through us, though, somehow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. I was a little bit worried because, you know, when I saw Eric's truck fail, and I was like, oh, crap. Like, is that everyone's truck, you know? Yeah. I, I managed to make it look easy. And once I got through that, I was like, uh, maybe I got this a little bit. I, I had to fall over. <laughs> Ugh. Not even at the gate. Alright, let's try this. I was able to get this pretty... I think I had maybe one rollover. Yeah, I had one reposition here. Yeah, something like that. Alright, try it backwards now. Oh, wow, it was like a perfectly timed. They both did it at the same time. I thought about selling this truck and building a corrupt carbon ore scraper. But I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would. If I spent that much time and money on this truck, I don't know if I'd really sell it for like, you know, three times or like less than three times. Yeah, because I did up the math. And then minus 25% of the build cost in the labor, I meant 1200 bucks. Yeah, so and you have to find a real special buyer to buy a truck for $1,200. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think I'd just keep it personally. Yeah. It'd probably be a long time before I sell it, though. If you do sell it. Yeah. I'll just keep it, because if I build a crap car and it works, it's... It's gonna be like a trail truck, it's gonna be like a comp truck. But this is gonna be my like six minute run the only like comp. Yeah. Like don't give a hell what it looks like, nothing. I'm getting kinda of close, I just can't seem to get up that. What kid's doing it? Nice. He's getting the he's getting the ravine over there. Um, nice job. Get one and two backwards. Do you guys mind if I record just your cars? Okay. I just have a YouTube channel and you know I like to do cars, so. Taylor's first floor. Trying to get here. I think that's it. It's a TR. Oh, you made it up that far? Yeah, that was the hard part right there. If I can get the track split here. Definitely. Oh, come on. I had the same trouble. I kept getting my wheel stuck in that right there. Yeah. Yeah, I got a problem wedging mine. My links pop out. Yeah. Yeah, his uh, Jeep does that. My Capri eats this thing up like it's nothing, but uh -huh. made a little bet going that this truck wouldn't make it up. Yeah, I have same car. Oh. Nice job. <laughs> nice job, Dad. I like those trenchers. They're awesome. They were they on the Capri. They were on the Capri yesterday. And oh, they were yeah, I'm either between the tusks or those. Yeah. These do okay in rock. Like, if you have, like, leafy grass, you can breathe in or dirt. Ride them off there. Like, when we go to Palisades, they kind of suck. Okay. Those tires are 
awesome with Palisades. We had a friend named CJ. He has a type of golden truck. It's very fast. And at the Palisades or somewhere else, he said... See, my throttle just stuck again. Uh, it did that again. I don't know what the hell keeps causing that. Okay, I need bug spray. I've seen that. I'm he has bug spray, right? Uh, yeah. So you he spray. has bug spray. Oh, uh, he has bug spray? <laughs> How do you like the wide axles on the Capra? Uh, good in some situations, bad in others. Mm -hmm. um, See, I'm, I've got a built G-Speed and I'm thinking about Capra axle in it. Part of my issue with the wide axles is it seems like they want to bind up really easy. Like if you, when you drop one off into the, like say if I was to come up in here yeah. and drop off in like this, if that back tire binds up, it has a lot of leverage and I, I worry that it's going to break it. Like right there, I just wedged the tire into the rock. Yeah. I made it up right here, just kind of like spread out. Well then. With the trenchers, this thing walks right up, but these ones apparently not so much. Yeah. We had some, the rock seems really slick today. I mean, I just did it for my first time yesterday, and I got it on the second try. Um, but today, like, I, I could not. I spent, like, probably 10 minutes trying to get out. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's 100 percent stock except for the brass weights and stuff like that mm -hmm. and tires. Um, if you get a Capra, the very first thing I would suggest, as long as you don't mind spending the money right off the bat, right off the bat is a better motor. Because there's times this one just like everybody smoked one, mm -hmm. and we just happen to have one, so. God, this I know it's it's so slick today. Normally this thing literally I can go right Yeah, it's it's there you go. Oh. Ooh, you are gonna just get busted up today. Servo, do you have? That's awesome. Like, look at this. Like, yeah. That's a. It is a hundred and forty dollars servo, and honestly, it's too fast. When you're running in comps, and me and Grant do it with the two other guys, mm -hmm. it's it's too fast, and like when you want to go in a slow situation, it's still all like slight steering. Yeah, it's like all or nothing, pretty much. Yeah. Can you turn down your? Uh, Oh, can you turn down? Does it have a, yeah, steer rate. Like mine has a steer rate. Mine does too. Steer rate. The only thing I don't like is like I, I limit my throttle because mm -hmm. if when you're crawling, speed isn't necessarily always a friend. Yeah. I do like mixing wheels. 
Oh yeah, there it goes. Mine looks really janked. I just bought this kit thing to buy up there. Oh, I think it looks fine. What holds yeah. your battery in? Uh, Velcro and a, it's a 3D printed Bill Center gravity battery tray. Oh, that's Yeah, I have a 3D, you know, 3D printed pieces. Like, they make the bottom skin plate for this that's flat. Yeah. So I can fit, like, the Hobby Homes um, Home Fusion side. ones. The two yeah, ones. that's what he has. Yeah, I've got the Fusion. It's dead silent. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. I love how slow they can crawl and that you can go that slow and the torque is continuous. It doesn't like yeah. bog down and you got to give it more throttle like this one. As soon as it starts bogging down, you have to like build up more throttle like you would have been. Hey, we, we tried this spot here. This is one of our gates. It was, um, so one was right here and then two was this crack. And I, we got it, but I, um, Kevin's camper did not get it. I remember him trying it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, Rick. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Hello. We're here with the RCs with Caleb and some other people. Yeah, they're jumping. Oh, it's the RC yeah. store? No. We are at uh, it's called the Gorge. It's part of Lake McBride, ain't it? No. 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 The Coral Village Reservoir. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Are you all right? There you go. If you guys want, you can try mine. All right. Good. You want to make a plan to do some riding? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Man, seeing that really makes me want to buy some cap axles right, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, bye. I love the feel of it. Pretty nice. I just, the motor needs a lot. That one, that's not even the body for that. It's an axial 10 too. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, I was like, I was looking at it, I was like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, somebody, we bought it used for cheap, so. Ain't nothing wrong with cheap. What server do you have in it? I have no idea. Oh, it's actually a traction steering servo, but everything else is all axial. Uh -huh. Like this one actually is kind of fun to me. You can drive mine in there. Actually, I'm recording. Try it here. Try it on the right there. Oh, nice. This thing has a... Oh, the Valley of Death? Nice. I know the trick. You have to... It's really weird. It's like the most dangerous trick. Ever. Yeah, it's so weird. If you go from the bottom of the valley and you go up... You have to like ride your back tires up on that sharp ledge right there. And, like, oh, go... I never thought about coming up it that way. Yeah, it's, you, 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 you should try it. It's... Yeah. It's pretty wild. It's such a weird way to do it. Oh, yeah, seriously though, uh, a different motor. Yeah. They, they, they take well to added weight in my opinion. Uh -huh. Some people argue yeah, some people argue no. See, that's... <laughs> He's a little <laughs> <laughs> I had the same fucking problem. It was pissing me off. I wonder if it's that yeah, see? Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna get it. Let's see it. Oh, that back. There. I would there you stick go. down uh, the red 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 Scratch up your guys' nice trucks. It's such a weird. Well, I don't know if you can do it with a small body, but you have to ride up there and then, like go completely sideways. For some reason, that cap seems wider than. Yeah, it does. It seems really wide. Yeah, and then you, it looks like you're gonna hit it, and then, you, and then that tire catches and like spins you around and you go up. Yeah, see my servo. This is like the third. Steering servos are fucking terrible on these things. Yeah. This is like the third servo it's had now. Might as well just get the best of the best. I know. We were kind of hoping Crash and Bash was going to be open today, but not much chance of that. Yeah, we, me we and go. him are planning to go out there someday oh, yeah. wait, when they get that warehouse built. Ooh, shit, that's not. Oh, I'm pinchy, yeah. That's where open dish are nice, because you don't want to destroy everything. How'd you get it? You got it during a comp, right? 
Yeah, I like magically did it somehow. I don't know. I'm gonna try a different spot here. See if I can that's do like, it. That's the biggest fear with this cap. Right? How wide the axles are. They get up into something so easy. Okay. Whereas, like, vehicles with bodies and stuff like that, like, you you probably have the same kind of thing going on that I do. Yeah. Like, your tires tend to go under versus things with bodies kind of tend to help you like that. See, I see this is yeah. the weird way that I found. Kind of that's cool what? I made that go all oh, the way up. Nice job. Try and get this here. Try over there. It's so easy over there. Yeah, he, he does it perfectly. See, Caleb and I, my son and I, we've only been doing this now for about a month and a half. Like, this is my first one I've ever bought. Do you want your That's bag or do you want to drive mine? Yeah, I've been, I I've like been yours. through it's bashing cool. and, right. like, touring cars since I was four years old. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. 16 now. Yeah. Like literally exactly twice right. I'm gonna try going down. It, it doesn't feel yeah, just anymore. just be careful. It has a brake on it, so just keep slowly rolling it down, okay? Yeah. You know, but if you get older, you know, you're probably friends and everyone are like, And don't get hit by the car. Yeah. Just keep slowly really rolling down. Other than Grant, we go to the same school. Don't stop it. You just gotta keep oh, going. Get it? You're right. Yeah, Can't stop it. You just gotta keep going. Now, my truck, if it's down like a kind of bad slope, it just slowly goes down. Yeah, mine doesn't. I have a big old anti-lock. See how it locks there? There you go. Nice job. Yeah, it's, I'm really liking where it's at. I love the heavy wheels on this thing, though. One thing I do absolutely love about the Capra, though, is it's... Uh, yeah, no yeah. kidding, yeah. Because although I'm new to RC, I'm not new to, like, off-roading in general. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got through that car. Holy moly. Right there. I got this. I've thought about running just brass up front. Yeah, I had just brass up front for a long time, and I didn't have these covers. Yeah, I stole your brass. Yeah, I gave them all my brass. Yeah. But I want to get Sam. Caleb, take it easy. I got to fix them. I'd rather fix your own. <laughs> then I can upgrade them. That's all right. That thing. See, you're getting it. That thing's bright, yeah. Oh, I've done that one too. Yeah, those. You have to like get this one off, and then you gotta just drive it. Yeah, this is part of where the axles, the weight, especially the weight on the axles, really helps. Definitely. Yeah. You just gotta get that tire. Yeah, no, yeah. I, don't think I mean, you just gotta kind of get that off, and then you can't just drop off. There you go. Really? Uh, got it or no? Uh, no. You're you're good there. You just gotta you know get that tire off that ledge. Finger, yep. Just just drive it. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, just keep driving that tire off. Uh -huh. A little bit lower. Yeah, maybe bring it down to your right a little bit. Okay, there you go, straight. Perfect. Oh. And drop it. Closer. You got it. You got it. No, don't back. You just try to drive straight. Once you get that. No. I still love your fucking car, though. Huh? I wish I could have. I was going to buy He had two of these, the motors. I was going to buy it and put it in my Capra. Mm -hmm. So we went to. Yeah. So we went to the. Uh, what is it called? Uh, crash and Bash. Crash brain fart. So we went to Crash and Bash. Oh, you have it. That's, that's exactly what you have to There's do. There's that dad reflex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saved your truck. Perfect crash. dad reflex. Yeah. You're doing the right thing. You just got to keep that other tire on. That's where the dual stages really help on my car. 
because you know it has a sidewall support yeah yeah because if you look yeah there's actually, yours actually isn't turning under too bad yeah when he was starting it, it was kind of there you go there you go perfect yeah for a while that's money oh shit yeah, you gotta. I mean, it's gonna happen. But. You gotta go straight. In the yeah, my my roommate's Jeep has one in hers. Yeah, that revolver. I'm I'm gonna re when this one shits out because I had it smoking the other day. So oh. it's it's time. Or it will be soon. We're gonna switch that one out to the revolver and a different ESC. I didn't like mine because well I had an ESC so extra weight, but then I realized that the sound yeah, straight, is so much straight, straight. different. It's really annoying, honestly, but torque wise, it does really good. You're straight. Oh. Personally, I enjoy turn up the right. better since it's easier. To there you go, you made it. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.